so, uh, I have received a package, and I will be opening it on stream. Uh, I already tore off the tape and cut off the, the shipping label, so nothing identifying there, but I have not opened the box. Um, this is going to be something that I didn't know I was getting today. It actually arrived kind of, well, you know what, Let's we'll go into more d detail about that in, in just a moment. Memento. Memento. Uh, but first... Oh yeah, if you can't hear it, if you can hear it, uh, my air conditioner is on in the background. So, uh, it might be, uh, it might be, there might be a little noise. It's, it's getting hot and I can't really keep it off anymore, unfortunately. It's too stuffy in this room. Wee woo. Yes. Hey. How you doing? <coughs> Oof. Oh my god. Great start here. Alright. Uh, I, I don't have any funny way of, like, segueing to this, so let's just do the funniest thing possible and show my face on stream. So, as you can see, take my vitamin C. I have, um, hold on. I have a whole thing of Airborne right here. I'm gonna be taking that with me to Atlanta. I'm gonna be power loading on vitamin C, don't worry. Hello again, yes. Uh, yeah, I got a haircut this weekend. I forgot to mention that. I got a haircut this weekend. Uh, I'm still gonna touch up the beard. But obviously it's it's a mess. But yeah, the hair is uh, the hair's low. It's low, and I'm still bald. So there you go. Focus, focus. Why isn't this focusing? Geo Pro, come on. Uh, as you can see, my room still a bit of a hot mess here. Uh, okay, there it went. Nothing's changed over there except for the the plastic pieces right here, which is where I put the. Because I got the, the... Oh, God. I <laughs> look awful. My Junko Nendoroid that I won from Cheap Ass Gamer. Uh, it's here, and it's on my stereo. Love. Love that irredeemable little shit that is Junko Enoshima. I really do. I think she's a great villain. Because she's such a piece of shit. Uh, she's still here. There's the ho -Oh back there. The beard looks good, honestly, you'd argue. It's too scraggly on the edges. It looks fine at a distance, but, like, as soon as you get up and you see this, it's like, oh, no, that's that's neck beard. That's gross. It's gotta go. This is a little too fuzzy at the edges. So I'm gonna trim it down a little bit before, uh... before I go to Atlanta on Thursday. So, yeah, I got a package today. Here it is. Up just a tiny bit there. I'm gonna tad it say. Also, I can't see the chat, so I have to put my glasses on. <laughs> I look like a huge nerd. Oh my god. So this came in the mail today. It is a package from everyone's favorite gaming company. Why'd I freeze? Whoa, whoa, what happened there? Did I freeze on actual stream? I can't tell. I hope not. That ruined the bit entirely. Not the bit, but what I was going to say. I got a package from everyone's favorite gaming company. And I'm saying that extremely dripping with sarcasm. Limited Run Games. Everyone, The company everyone loves to fucking hate. Uh, they delivered a package to me today. Um, now, just putting this out there. I know a lot of people criticize them. I absolutely agree with many of the criticisms, including the fact that they don't tell you when their packages ship. You order something, and it's like, oh, it'll ship in six to seven months, because we're still making it, and that's how we work. And then six to seven months later, they ship it without even telling you. You have to, like, look at your order on the site to know it's coming out. And I just happened to check two days ago, and I'm like, wait a minute, I think there's a package coming for me, like, tomorrow. And lo and behold, today, here it is. It's here. But what's in it? You might be wondering. Uh, well, as I said before, I already took the tape off and I took the shipping label part off so no one could see where I live. Uh, first we've got some lovely, uh, airbags. Which I believe are punctured here. No, they aren't. And then we've got... Bubble wrap. Let's get that out of there. So what we have here is an indie game. Two indie games, 
uh, by a very, very small studio. I believe it's only like one person. Um, and this is officially, as of right now, the last new release for the Nintendo 3DS. This is uh, Go Go Coca Polo Anniversary Collection Collector's Edition. Um, if you have not seen this game, it, there's two games in the series. One of them was on Nintendo DSi, and one of them was on 3DS. Um, Go Go Coca Polo Harmonious Forest Revenge was on the DSi, and then Space Recipe for Disaster is the second game, and it's on 3DS. I froze again. Did I freeze on stream? Because my image was stuck with me doing, like, this or whatever. That's not good. I'm not I'm, I'm not happy with that if that's actually happening. I'm going to have to review that VOD later. But yeah, these were downloadable games for the D DSi and 3DS. Um, again, it's by a single... It's by, like, one dude uh, who formed Tanuki Studios with two eyes at the end, Tanuki. And they announced a few months ago that they were doing a physical edition uh, via limited run games. So I was like, as much as I don't like limited run games... I did like these game. I did like these two games. I actually have both of these already, and I wanted to support the Tanuki Studios because, again, it's a very small studio. There weren't a ton of people like clamoring for this. So I was like, oh, you know what? I want to get it. I want to get it, and it just arrived today. So this is pretty interesting because, um, as you can see, it's got little, the little Nintendo DS. There's a lot. There's a shiny uh, film on here. I'm actually gonna remove it. Yo. You saying yo makes me just think of, uh, where is it? Uh, no, um, I haven't gotten it off yet. <laughs> that did it. Maybe not. I have one more package coming from Limited Run Games in probably another three months or so. So, look forward to that. Look forward to me shilling for Limited Run Games one more time. I actually got a package from them a while ago. You can't see it because it's all the way back there, but I got um, the Scott Pilgrim vs. the World uh, Special Edition because I wanted that game. If there was one game I want physical, it's going to be that game because it's like the game notorious for not being physical before and, and causing a huge problem because of that. So it's, uh, it's, it's nice. Again, you can see on the side here, there's two games, two icons. Come on, focus. This camera's good, but it, like, doesn't focus quick enough. How do I... Whatever. Let's gonna unbox it real quick and, and see what's inside. I think we can already figure out one of the items in there from that. Yell at it. No. I don't want to peek the mic. I don't want to ruin the mic and blow out. You could blow out a mic if you go into it too hard. Haha, <laughs> that's what she said. Tanuki. Berries and Company, Room for Game. That's interesting. Both of these games are actually, like, published by different companies. One's Room for Games and the other's Berries and Company. Number two, number... Th oh, you know why? Because it's actually two different games. Flushed emoji. Uh, cardboard. I, what? I need to turn this turn this down. Oh, God, I can't reach from over there. Oh, I'm so fat. Uh, do you like my Tokoyami shirt? I've shown... The, I've worn the shirt on stream before. It just so happens to be the, the shirt I'm wearing today. Uh, so, we got uh, some... It's like a couple sticker sheets... Yeah. Oh wow, we got quite a few of them. Little sticker sheets of uh, of the various enemies and characters in the game, and uh, they're pretty nice actually. I gotta say, like it's it's just the art of them. But this game again, these are these are indie games that didn't really get a ton of online coverage. There weren't really good high res images of the art from this game from these games, so it's kind of cool. Like they even have like a little like sprite sheet sticker sprite sheet down here. That's cool. There's like a little slot machine mechanic. Stickers just like the old days, yeah. Uh, we got some bosses here. That's one of that's one of the main characters up there. Go go Coca Polo 3D. Uh, there's Coca Polo in the corner there, and his friend uh, I think it's Tatsumo, right next to him. 
Uh, I like this enemy, obviously. The, the bomb chicken in the corner? That's excellent. Excellent character design. 10 out of 10 Tanuki games, thank you. So that's simplistic, easy. You know, an easy bonus to include. I'm never going to use them. I hate using stickers. I like keeping them as collector's items, even if, you know, they're not really worth a lot in a ton of people's eyes. I also just hate putting stickers on stuff. Because if I could put a sticker... I've seen people put stickers on their desk, and then they peel, and they get gross, and they start curling up and lose fading, and it's like, well, now it looks disgusting. I actually, like, have a weird sensory thing with that. I don't like stickers being stuck in, like, places that I'm frequenting, where it'll, like, come off or wear down. I'm really weird like that. Just epoxy the desk, yeah. We haven't gotten to the meat of this collection yet. I also haven't really talked about what these games are. Um, I, I can't get it out because it's just packed so tight. That's what I said. Okay, we'll come back to that. Uh, we've got an envelope of some sort here. Ah, hold on. Okay. So first... Ooh, this is this is very plasticky smelling. <laughs> this this contain this thing is like it's got a very distinct smell that reminds me of my childhood. Uh, first and foremost, it comes with a, a neat little coin. I mean, a lot of games do this. It's probably just a metal coin. It's just a metal coin coated in like gold covering, but it's got Tanuki Studios logo on it, and on the on the front it says it's really hard to see it. Uh, Coco Polo uh, 10th anniversary. 2010 to uh, 2021. Or is that 2012? No, sorry. 2011 to 2021. Though I believe... Um, I mean, I, this this didn't go up for order until 2022. <laughs> Still, again, it's a nice... It's a nice little... Is it heavy? Yeah. It's a fairly solid... Coin. I want to scratch it. Again, I didn't get this for me. I got it more for... Well... I mean, I did, but I got it more to support Tanuki Studios, because they're, they've been really cool. Nice, free, free weapon. <laughs> I really worry about giving you stuff. Hey, Shellshock, thank you for the tr uh, the raid. Hey, I am ready for some new challengers. Uh, what were you streaming tonight? Were you doing Mega Man tonight, or no? Did you finish that? Hey, hey. Uh, I'm sure you can guess what this is. Uh, this is a original soundtrack, Volume 1. Okay, interesting. Did the Streets of Raids Genesis trilogy today. Cool. Did finish Battle Network last week. Nice. How'd you like it? Did you... Was was it the first time you played 1? Enjoyed it. Yeah, first time beating it. Well, I'm, I'm glad... Um, I will say, if you enjoyed one, two and three, blow that out of the water. So I hope you, I hope when you get around to playing those, uh, you have a lot of fun with them. Sorry, I got a message on my phone. Cannot wait for it. Nice, nice, nice. Two is my personal favorite, but three is, I would say, uncontestedly the best one of the trilogy of all of them. Three is like the, the three is like the the highlight of the entire series, but two is my favorite. Streets of Rage 1 was good. Streets of Rage 2 was great. 3 was awful. I've never played the Streets of Rage games. I should... There's at least one on the NSO. I should play it. Most likely play more after Tears of the Kingdom. Nice. I'm trying to get through as much of Advance Wars as I can, because after two... Ah, <laughs> oh, this work desk. Good stuff. Holy cow, did you see that? 2 is on NSO. Yeah, after tomorrow... Because I'm going on vacation starting tomorrow, or starting Wednesday, so I won't be here until next week, and when I get back, I'm going to be streaming Tears of the Kingdom immediately, like, all day. Uh, anyway, getting a little, uh, getting sidetracked, so it comes with a, uh, a soundtrack CD, which is nice, you know, again, standard, standard collector's edition fare. Uh, specifically, it says Volume 1, which is interesting, and I'm looking at the back here, Tracks from Foreigners, tracks from both games. 
Shots 1 through 22. I'm like confused why it says volume 1 because from the looks of the back here, this looks to be almost all of the music from both games, which is really cool because I think up to this point, no one had ripped that music and put it online except for like a low quality rip of like one of the songs in uh, the first game. Again, these games are pretty... I won't, I, I'm gonna say obscure. They didn't get a ton of pop because because like the person again it's made by like like a few people in an independent studio. It's I think it's like one main guy and a couple of extra people like helping with the art and uh, and music. So again, these are like it, it's really cool to see this get a physical release, especially in 2023 when other 3DS games have finished. Even if it is even if it is done by limited run, I still just really think it's cool and uh, I'm glad I got it. Uh, I may listen to the soundtrack later. We'll have to see. And I guess I, uh, I guess I sh did the opposite of what I should have done and showed off all the bonus stuff before getting to the meat of, uh, the package here. Ah! I'm sorry, I'm so mature today. Hello. So this, you can actually buy this, like, separately. Uh, this is the actual collection of games, which actually does come on two separate cards. Um, and now again, the interesting thing about this is that, um... So if you could see the text... Can I spin this correctly? Yes, we can. So the top one's Go Go Coca Polo 3D, Space Recipe for Disaster. The bottom one's Harmonious Forest Revenge. This is actually a DSi game that they converted into a 3DS game now, alongside a physical edition of the other 3DS game. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to see that. Like, like it's, it's like how, um, it's like how Advance Wars: Days of Ruin in Japan got like a 3DS release, as well as, um, as well as WarioWare Twisted. They like actually got converted into 3DS games in Japan. So that's, uh, it's pretty cool. It, it's really neat. I love that. Take the nuts in the box, right? Yeah. Yeah. Some sturdy wrap. Ugh, toss that in there. These are packaged very tightly. Oh my god, everything has shrink wrap on it. Okay, but we're not... Maybe we will. <laughs> so yeah, it comes with two two whole games. Um, again, uh, what am I thinking here? I didn't really explain what the games are, huh? I should probably show a little bit here. Uh, the way they work... I can, it's better probably to show a promotional video, but the way it works, it's kind of almost like a Pac-Man-like game. It's referred to as a chase em up What you do is you, um, you hit... Like, you you go around kind of like a maze-like area, you hit enemies, and then the enemies start chasing you. And what you gotta do is you gotta lead them over, like, a, like a carnivorous flower that eats the enemies. And when you do, you actually then play, like, a little slot machine game on the touchscreen to completely eliminate them. It's, it's very interesting... It's a little clunky in execution, but it's a really, really neat concept. In fact, let me see. Let me see if I can pull up a... Kind of like a trailer here for the original. There it is. How do I uh, switch to desktop? Here we go. I have to turn down the volume for this. Yeah, the music is very silly in this trailer. <laughs> Again, this is for a, a DSiWare game that came out uh, way back in 2011. But it, uh, it it did pretty well, and the creator made a sequel. And now both sequels are on the 3DS in, uh, in the form of a cartridge. Or in cartridge form. Yeah, it's, it's, it looks simplistic on the surface, and it kind of is, but it's very fun and very addictive. You play a couple levels, levels of this, and you get you get hooked on it. There's also secret endings, uh, extra modes, just a ton of fun stuff with it. And it gets fast, too. Like, you see, like, you have to keep running while charging enemies, and if you slow down, then the enemies charge you, and you get hurt. It's, it's pretty cool. I wonder if these 
come with like an instruction manual here. I'm still tearing it open while this trailer plays. Oh, I think it does come with like a little bit. Yeah, it does. All right, I'll show that off in a second. Oh wow, and it's actually like more than like a little pamphlet. Oh, that's so cool. Yep, and then you get like dual screen bosses that like require like certain gimmicks and stuff. It's 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 really neat. It's very well executed for for an, an, an for an eShop game made by like one person. Again, it's not exactly one person, but it's he's got like a. F it's like in terms of programming, I think it was just just him. But like for for such a small team, they put together a very very solid game. Uh, we're not. Wow, this trailer still still got a long way to go. There's a bonus stage. There he is. He's he's villain, but he's also a good guy. Yeah, what are we waiting for? Um. Okay. There we go. Ah, uh, yes, free gambling, Cat Sonic. <laughs> Catasonic. Uh, oh, I don't have the preview up. I'm like, what's what's going on? Why does it look weird? Bip. So yeah, each one, each game comes in a separate box. It's got its own cartridge, which is really cool. And and you get like a little instruction manual for both for both of them. It's not like it's not like the pamphlets that the 3DS would have either. It's actually like a not a full manual. It's only about four pages. But uh, it's it's got pictures and, and words, and it's definitely something that comes at a premium these days. Uh, so that's that's really cool. That's actually really damn cool. I know I've said that a ton, but it's it's the truth, and I really like this. I again, I already have both games. I am probably never actually putting these cartridges in my 3DS, mostly because my 3DS is in my in my drawer back there and I haven't turned it on in months it's dead its battery is completely dead but yeah it's it's really cool I'm really happy this this came out I, I know again I know limited run games is, is kind of gonna be kind of dicks about a lot of stuff but it's uh it is what it is and and I think in this case I'm willing to tolerate the uh, the perceived evil to get this kick-ass collection of games that I really think should get more attention. Um, I know I probably didn't do the best job selling them here, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Again, the, the, the worst part of all this is that it's really hard to actually get the games and play them now because DSiWare, 3DSware, they're both gone, and this isn't exactly cheap, nor do I think it's in stock anymore because Limited Run Games only does what's ordered and they stop. They may have like a small surplus, which is bullshit. I think they just they just make more and, and they they claim it to be surplus. But uh yeah. If you could find a way to play it, I highly recommend trying it. Especially especially at least the first game. Second game is is pretty much more the same, but I highly recommend uh trying it out. It's very fun. Um uh, I don't know. I would say I'd stream it at some point, but I don't think that's ever ever actually gonna happen. <laughs> back in here. I would say that this game is not the most personal to me, but it's definitely something... I miss you, DS and 3DS, yeah. It's not the most personal game to me, but it's definitely up there in terms of, like, this was a nice a nice thing, and I'm very happy to support it. So, yeah. Pogo Coca Polo. 10th Anniversary Collection Collector's Edition for the Nintendo 3DS Family of Systems. Again, it's, it's just really cool that this is probably the last official 3DS game that's released. Even though it's not really released, it's given out to people who ordered it six to seven months ago. <laughs> yeah. Look at him. Look how angry he looks. Why is the camera doing this? Is it doing that on stream? Yes, it is. It's freezing. What is happening? Why is it happening? I don't like that. <sighs> Whatever. Go go Coco Polo, it's good. Play it if you can. If you if you have to find a way to play it that's not like this, uh then then do it, because it's worth playing. Yes. 